classic battle in the Midwest Classic. A pair of conference unbeatens will do battle tonight. Mesmer and Brookfield Academy. And the homestanding Blue Knights come in on quite a roll. They've won their three games by an average of 46 points. Good to see Lance and Mark at this one. And they saw a seesaw first quarter. Brookfield Academy rips off a 9-0 run. Here's a pretty feed from Dominique Chris to Sean Clary. 14-7 Blue Knights. But the Bishops answer in a hurry. Here's a nice give and go. Darren Thomas, Virginia, back to Dallas Polk Hillard. A 14-2 blitz. 21-16 Mesmer after one. B.A. regains the lead in the second. Fora Bangura with the interception. He takes it himself. Blue Knights back on top by one. Later, big Jonathan Carson with the short jumper. We are tied. But Chris cranks it up before half. Here he drives and pulls up for the hanging jumper. 37-32, Brookfield Academy at the break. Second half and we stay tight. Jimon Ferguson pulls up, puts it off the window. Bishop's down just two after three periods. But the Blue Knights simply explode in the fourth. They go on an 18-1 run fueled by Dominique Chris. Here he dishes to Clary for the easy deuce. Later, Chris with the no-look bullet pass to Jacob Kolosinski. Then Chris drives the baseline for the reverse. He totaled 38 points in a 76-57 victory as BA solidifies their number two state ranking. Uh, attention to detail and being physical. It's one of our seven pillars, and we just played and uh, stuck to what Coach said and we pulled it out. Our way is, is the fastest show on wood. We're gonna push every time and wear you down. So like you said, the fourth quarter, 18 to one run, it's nothing Mesmer did wrong, it's just we keep pushing and we wanna make you play 95 miles an hour for 32 minutes. In Cross City Classic 8 conference action, the North Stars were wearing black, the black shirts were wearing white, and these fellas were wearing no shirts. Well, okay then. The first quarter was a scramble for the lead, and I mean it. On the floor turns into this layup by Aubrey Cron. Score 13-10, heading into the second new quarter, new play. The home team pulled even further ahead with a 10-2 run and a cap off by this buzzer beater toss by Caitlin Ranke to end the half. South up by 10. Waukesha North started battling back in the third. This block led to a North Star putback hoop by junior standout Elizabeth Kelleher. North squeezed South's lead to a mere one point in the fourth, but clutch scoring allowed the shirts to take the game 48 to 42 and move on to the rest of the season four and one. The two things that they can control in their life is effort and attitude. And uh, I thought the kids uh, really won this game on Wednesday because they practiced extremely hard. It was probably our best practice of the year. I love my team. I got in a little foul trouble both halves, so one of the girls off the bench, they came in, they were all good. They picked it up and they stepped up and they were in it to win it and they put just as much heart into it as the uh, girls that start to. 